hey guys good morning um wherever you might be i'm currently based in south africa it's a friday morning a bit cloudy outside and um, just thought i'll do this video this morning um, for those of you that might want to learn how to be able to integrate custom google fonts in your ionic 2 or ionic 3 application so as you can see here i'm using this i'm just showing you guys a demo from my template i developed and uh, this demo as you can see uses custom fonts and as we can go in through the demo quickly as you can see all of the fonts kind of in the application are all custom fonts that don't normally just come in when you run your application for the first time so i'm going to take you guys through how to go about including custom fonts in your ionic 2 slash 3 applications so let's get started so first things first as you know let's go ahead and create a new blank application so i'm gonna type in the ionic start i'll call this project google fonts and we want a blank template and i'll go ahead and uh, download that application so the project files have downloaded on my machine and I'm quickly going to open these uh, using Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, here's our project opened in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open the integrated terminal and run Ionic Serve. And let's see how this application looks straight out of the box. Okay, so terminal has finished running. So let's check out how the application looks uh, in Google Chrome. So I'm quickly going to press uh, Alt, Command, and I buttons at the same time, which brings me um, this console um, dialog kind of nice page. Uh, to do this manually, just go to View, and then go to Developer, and then say uh, View your page as Developer Tools, and then you see it like this. Okay, so as you can see, guys, um, this is the default fonts that come installed with Ionic. So these are the fonts that we want to change. So let's go ahead and learn how we go about doing that. Okay, so first things first, we need to head over to Google Fonts. So I'm quickly going to go and just type in there Google. Can't type this morning for some reason. Google Fonts. And uh, click on the first one, the first link. And let's look for a cool font to use within our application. I'm just going to scroll down here till I find something interesting. Um, this one looks quite cool, Pacifico. So let's go ahead and click on it. And what we need to do is click on select this font. And uh, once you click on there, then let's click and highlight this link here. Command copy and open up a new tab and I'm gonna say Command V to paste on a Mac. So what we need to do is that we need to highlight uh, this link here and uh, copy it. So I'm gonna just highlight it. We're gonna need to use this font here, this W0 or WOFF2 font uh, under this Latin um, section here. So don't copy any of these ones here, use this one here. So I'm gonna Command Copy uh, and open a new page and command V to paste, press enter, and I should get presented with the download dialog box any moment now. There we go. So what we need to do is that you need to then um, navigate to where your apps are. So this is Google Fonts, the one we created. And what we need to do is that we need to go to the source folder and um, under assets, create a new folder, call it Fonts like that and create it and we need then to save that project or that font rather into this folder so i'm going to call this pacifico like that was the name of the font right pacifico and click save and that should download and save it so let's just go ahead and just check if it's in if indeed it's within our application so let's go to app um and we need to look for assets and fonts. And as you can see, we now have that font installed or rather 
in our project folder, right? So um, let's go ahead and then use this font within our application. So a few things we need to do then first quickly is we need to go into the app um, dot c app dot s c s s file, and we need to type in the following code. Add font face. So we're declaring the font here. So font family. Uh, here you can give it whatever any name you want to, but I'll just still keep using the name of the font. So I'll just call it Pacifico, Pacifico, right? And then we need to tell our app where the where the file is or where this font is or where it resides. So um, you'll find it under assets, right? In a folder called fonts. And the name of the font is this needs to be identical as that's uh, this name here. So we need to say Pacifico dot W O F F two, right? Let's close that. All right. So if we were to run this, um, let's say if I was to command save and go back to um, Google Chrome. Go back to application you see that it's still showing the application as is not nothing has happened we still need to do a bit of work to just change a few things here so there are two ways in which you can declare the application to use the font so the first one is just uh, doing it like this so we type in that and then we just say font family and we call uh, pacifico right that's what we called it and if I save that and let it build and go back to Google Chrome, there you see it has globally changed the font um, throughout the application and is now using this font here. Um, I just want to show you another way to do it, like I said. And this is the, through doing this, where you're going to declare where you want the font to be used. So I'm going to say in the body, uh, in span, um, on buttons, uh, on the H1 tags. So I'll say for all of them. So let's say um, for header one, I'll just copy that. So because I'll have six headers, right? Header one, command V on header two, uh, command V on header three, and so on. Sorry, you have to watch me type this out, but. Um, and lastly header six and also maybe on my paragraphs and also you can also declare like maybe on uh, iron items and anywhere else that you kind of you know would want to use the font in so in iron item rather not iron items and iron title also maybe perhaps it's all up to you so um, why can't i type today iron title and then we go ahead and uh, do that and we say we want to use the font family pacifico for that right for all of these elements here pacifico and we'll say this is i told you i can't type today Import, important cool so let's go ahead and uh, save that and let it recompile and let's see how it looks uh, in Google Chrome. And as you can see, it kind of looks the same. So let's say if I didn't want to, let's say maybe have this font showing on the paragraphs. So I'll just go back to my code and let's say I'll just remove this paragraph tag there and then recompile it and let's see how it looks within the app. And as you can see there that the paragraph is not affected by uh, the font so this is part of a course that i'm still busy developing right now which will show you how to design um for ionic because i know a lot of people just talk about developing 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 but no one actually really ever talks about um designing so this is part of a course i'll be doing currently working on which will be available on udemy shortly and within that um course i'll also go into greater detail and showing you how to actually work with multiple fonts within your application so guys there you go i hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next one cheers